Banner Children's, we've got pediatric care covered for Arizona families. Cupid, are you learning me right now? Cupid? Cupid? What? Hey, what? There's a couple different types of diabetes. There's type 1 and type 2, and what we're talking about today is type 1. Type 1 is an autoimmune disease, which means the immune system accidentally makes a mistake and attacks something in the body that it's not supposed to. So with type 1 diabetes, it attacks little cells in the pancreas that can make insulin. Can you what? That right there, that's an alert. Okay, I'll check. I'll check right now. Right now. I'm checking right now. I'm getting my meter. Uh, diabetes assistance dog, such as Cupid, can help Nick um, by alerting him to uh, low blood sugar prior to them even noticing that it's happening. Sometimes 15 to 20 minutes sooner than a meter might detect. The only reason they can train the dog to shake when I'm high and bow when I'm low is because the smell of your saliva, when you're high it's more of a sweet smell. 91. I've changed, but I've gone up. Are you telling me something? Am I going to go high? Am I going to go low? What's happening? And when you're low, it's more of an acidic smell. So the dogs can, the dogs know the difference between a sweet and an acidic smell, so they can tell if you're going high or if you're going low. Do you want to sit maybe right here? When we found out that there was actually diabetic alert dogs out there, we, we were all very excited. thought, this is Absolutely, how, how do they do this? So I got him into the summer camp with them and we started the whole, we got, you know, we got a process going. But it's just, it, it gives you such a sense of relief. I know for my parents, they're, they'll let me do more independent things as long as I have Cupid with me. I can, uh, if I go somewhere, they want me to walk there with my dog to make sure I'm okay. Um, she's. She really hasn't changed me much, except that I know that I do have a second nose and a second pair of eyes helping me. Banner Children's is really there for these families. Um, we have a lot of support from our leaders here at Banner Children's. We are able to um, provide a lot of community service type events, so we go out to the schools. And, and educate school, per school personnel and teachers and other students about type 1 diabetes. We help these kids get better cared for in their classrooms and at their schools. You told me something. I'll check again. 10 minutes. 10 minutes, okay? You're looking at anywhere from 8 to 12 blood sugar checks a day at minimum, which means they're poking their fingers usually to see what their blood sugar is. They're looking at anywhere from six to eight injections if they're on shots. If they're wearing an insulin pump, they, um, that gets a little bit less for them and can help them. They have constant worry. They're always needing to think about what, what their blood sugar is before they eat, where did it land and end up after they eat. Um, before activity, they're having to, to monitor their blood sugar because you can have low blood sugar during activity. So a lot on their mind, all because we know that if their blood sugar stays high a lot, and over time, it can damage the body and cause the complications of diabetes that we know about. 